thick as a glass. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. 
I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacor, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarah's here is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Close you to the helipad. Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you. Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So. Do you want something you can use from a distance, or up close? Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. 
Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon, change grenade type, or use an item. Simply press the keyboard key associated with the slot in which the desired item resides. You can swap the content of a slot in and out as you please by accessing the inventory screen. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof.
Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently by moving up behind them and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Killing them is a more permanent solution, but also involves making more noise. To do it, simply hold the takedown button. Whether you kill or stun, all takedowns burn up energy. If your energy bar is empty, you will not be able to use your augmentations. You can, however, replenish your energy cells through the consumption of nutrients. Regardless, don't leave bodies lying out in the open. If they are found, an alarm will be called in. So grab them and drag them out of the way. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of swan. No sign of anything. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. Crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position. Richard, I'm in. Nicely done, Jensen. 
May I ask how? A vent on the roof. It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it.
Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. Access granted. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries, so you can access the security codes within. To do it, you must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. To capture a node, simply place the cursor over it and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> 